Good morning, friends. This is really happening. We're vlogging again. It has been way too long, but sometimes real life is what it is. I hope we still remember how to do this. I do too. <laughs> so, this is a video about a vision we have had for our life here when we're in America. The vision is, I'm calling it kind of a reverse mullet. So, the forerunner towing the travel trailer. So this is like the reverse mullet. Business in the back, wild in the front. And I say wild because we're on like version 3.0 of getting this thing dialed in to be an amazing camping vehicle. Yeah. We've already done a test run out to the Deschutes. Now we're gonna head up into the Sierra for one, maybe two nights and like I said, the vision is to do this every couple weeks. And that's the reason we got the rooftop tent. Yes, exactly. So we could take off on dirt roads and-, and we got Elsa and the power station. Now we are, we're getting there. And most importantly, no computers and probably no cell service. Yeah, I'm still bringing my computer. <gasps> Cheater! Well, if I left if an home. asteroid falls out of the sky and hits this trailer, I don't want to be that inconvenience. Yeah, well, mine needs to be replaced and everything's online, so I'm okay. So, you're good on the cloud? <laughs> Alright, let's head up into the Sierra. Woohoo! We've already been doing practice runs. Yeah, before. that was yesterday's drive. <laughs> Mija, you are you ready? Camping? Listo, mija? Vamos? Okay, ando de pues. The dirt road begins. It does. Beautiful drive so far. It's a stunningly gorgeous day. Today. How's it going back there, Luch? You want your window down? Huh? There you go. Yeah. Living your best life back there, puppy dog. I'd be sitting on the middle seat. No. Nope. Not yet. On a slower road, we'll let you out of your seatbelt. Hey, uh, we could have uh, slowed you down or let some air out of these tires. Forty. I want to stop at 35. Okay, we really need to go uh, out of cell service to get a break. To get a break. Um, oh, hey, whatever. Continue that on snow guy with flashing lights months. is up to. Uh, so, real life here. One of our tenants just called. Like, what are the odds we have a blip have of a blip cell phone of service? service. And stopped here to yeah, and the stopped. Tires get this because there's dust coming in um and every time one of the tenants calls it's like oh man God, what's going on at the now? house because i know it's pouring down rain in alaska right now and it, the boiler's going out and it's like how much is this going to cost it was the, tr the toilet was cracked and we had to replace the toilet. yeah so oh. it's like you know cha-ching when <laughs> the or phone rings from out. a tenant or they're moving out <laughs> but okay this one was my online bank transferring thing is uh, glitchy right now. I'm like, huh, oh, okay, let's, that's cool. No late fees. Let's deal with this in a couple days. Yes. Let's see how, the, let the dust settle. All right, so just kind of took a little, little bit of pressure off. And I say that because we had them at towing weights 
So right now the fronts are at 31 and the rears are at 33 to 34, which is by no means a soft tire, but it's a hell of a lot softer than towing tire pressures. And if it gets Baja level washboard, we'll knock them down to 20 or something. It's a lot smoother drive already. Though. Yeah, it is. All right, Google's telling us we have 19 miles, which I believe the 58 minutes, I do not believe at all. Not that the roads are bad, it's just never a realistic time once you hit the dirt. But are we in a hurry? I don't have anywhere to be, do you? Just here with you. We got- And you. Seat. Yeah. Stuff to eat, Lucy, a place to sleep. Refrigerator. Air conditioning. Elsa's been great. Yes. Yeah. I always forget the fourth wheel. Yep. That little uh, witch is uh, very helpful. <laughs> okay, Elsa is the Ice Co. AP fifty APL fifty five uh, twelve volt refrigerator that we collaborated with Ice Co. with this past summer, and it's amazing. I love that thing. I love having a vehicle with a refrigerator. Yes. We use that, okay, obviously on the, this type of a trip, but on a day-to-day -day basis, if we're going to a grocery store, we will use it if it's like a 45 minute drive or if you wanna buy some frozen stuff and it's a long drive. That is probably 90% of our uses. Obviously, time-wise, when we're out for 48 hours, it gets used longer, but yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis, we use that for groceries. Ugh. Oh, say it isn't so. Oh. So. What a tragedy. Oh my goodness, we have to pay tribute. Kind of reminds me of like McCarthy yeah. back home in Alaska. Or Eagle. Awesome. Like just a really remote little village. We don't even know the name of this place. I, have no idea I know when I edit the video, I'm gonna put it right there, but <laughs> wow, cool. Good little uh, discovery. Okay, we have arrived to the Bowman Lake campground area. I'm not necessarily sure we're like in the campground right now. That was more higher up the hill, but I think we might be able to park over there and then have access to the lake right here. Yeah, I would say park right over here. I guess that's a possibility. Looks like we would not be the first people to drive across that. Um, I suppose that could be a contender of a place, but it looks like people have had like dispersed camps over in there, so let's go check it out. I see some kokanee salmon in this uh, creek here. 
and uh, I don't think we're going to cross it. You know, the Forerunner could do it. Just because something can do something doesn't mean you should. When there's probably a road down to that area, and why contribute to tearing up something uh, beautiful? So let's go check it out over there. Hi. Yeah, let's go up and around. No use tearing things up. That's what I thought. Yep. But there's the theory that I've always long tried to live by. Don't do stupid stuff with your ride home. There's some promising spots here. I don't know if it's a mistake, but we're gonna go look for something better. These would work, but better would be nice. Like right on the water, perfect balance of shade and sun for the solar panel. Maybe a picnic bench if it is a camp in a campground. The one over there was broken. Uh, we do have a table so we can Suffice, but and at 6,000 feet, this face is going to turn red really fast if we don't have some decent shade. Okay, um, yeah, we just want something better, damn it. Well, is this it? This is home, yeah, we got level. I'll be damned, like, try. yeah. And it, we're talking not like close to level. It was actually 0. 0.0 or 0. 0.1. The uh, campsite here, it's not a formal campsite. So it's a national forest dispersed thing. Then there's water over there. And yeah, right over there. And this is like a peninsula. So yeah, there's water over there too. Okay. This is going to be our living room. Let's set up the uh, our home. Whew. Okay. Sun went down behind the mountain. Camp is set up. Are you pooped? I'm not pooped. Just yeah. we didn't eat anything today, so. Ready to chill out? I'm ready to make some dinner okay. and then chill out. We always do this on drive days. Like mm -hmm. we left at 10, didn't eat anything. We just had a little protein shake. Yeah, and now it's Hi, like Lucy. 6 o'clock and we haven't eaten anything. Yeah, and I'm kind of so hot and it exhausted really that up. it's kind of like, oh, am I too hot to eat? I told you we can have cold ham sandwiches. We can, but that's pretty easy over there. Tomorrow, we will kind of show you where version overlanding with a 4Runner 3.0 is. i uh, kind of shown you some stuff already, but we have some more surprises in store as we uh, get this thing dialed in. Cheers. Cheers. What's for dinner? Chicken sausages baked beans, and some really good uh, raw veggies with some tzatziki, which is not as good as we've had in Greece. <laughs> Just gotta say, you, know, you can't get anything as good can't go back. as when you've traveled there. So, we're gonna call it an early night. See you tomorrow. What are you up to? Teaching myself to embroider. 
Mm. Without the help of YouTube videos? Well, it has... I bought this kit because I haven't done this kind of stuff since I was like 10 years old. Somebody taught me how to do it. And I thought it'd be fun to try again. And uh, this kit comes with like three of these where you get to practice all the different kinds of stitches, but then you have something pretty when you're done. And then each one of these has instructions like how to, and some of them I know, like the satin stitch is super easy, but there's also videos. So the ones that I can't figure out how to do out here, I'll watch when we go home. Okay. I don't know. Fun little ways to pass the time. Need something to keep my hands busy. I, I agree. That's why I so enjoy being what? on the water. What are you up to, little miss? <laughs> Oh, are there bugs or reflections today? Oh my. Alright. Yeah, that's when she actually misses Papa. But when I'm here, I'm chump change. It's like all about Mama. But I leave and it's like, oh, where is he? I know. Number two. Okay, let's show you around the Nature Nest Series 3 rooftop tent. We love this thing. It is great. Uh, the challenges were we didn't have an owner's or operating manual, but there's a very precise way to put it away and deploy it to make sure that it goes well the next time. Okay, and up here we have our sleeping quarters windows on each side and a window at the head of the bed that you really can't see right now and then like a stargazing window uh, the foam here that came with the tent it's nice if you're a side sleeper and you have some size to you it wasn't quite enough so we found these on Amazon kilos gear they're pretty neat they uh, will do the job but that also takes some getting used to because you're coming out and you're sleeping in a sleeping bag and if you toss and turn a lot that's challenging and the sleeping bag spins on top of this thing so I get good night's sleep but I still have not dialed everything in completely doing your thing mm -hmm. when I get tired of this I have a coloring book and reading to do you're lucky that you're amused by things like that Amused, huh? Well, satiated. Little lady, you got something to do? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's for lunch? I don't know. <laughs> well, you're the one who made that That's joke. Not my fault. That's job. <laughs> lunch, grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. First time's not usually graceful for me. That's why I got the camera going. I guess I can just fall in the water, worst case scenario. Come in, come in. Okay. You're okay. You want to see too? Now you can see. doesn't like it when you get in the water. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Neat little thing. Got one hit, no fish. But it's pretty comfortable. You look comfortable. Yeah. The dynamics of an inflatable versus like a kayak are a lot different. Yeah. But we do have the skegs. But yeah, this is totally a victory, especially since it doubles as a hammock. <laughs> There's nothing. Ooh. That was good. 
nice sear. Got a little bit of food remnants there, but this uh, copper mask doing the job for us, I think. Now reading? Gosh, <laughs> you're having one heck of an ideal day. <laughs> However do you survive? I don't know. Someone has to do it, though. Welcome to our rooftop tent. And the uh, built-in lighting is pretty awesome. Oh, down here at the foot. So Lucy gets up and down in her backpack. We just hand her up or down right between us. And uh, then we clip it up there so it stays out of the way. You ready for bed? Mm-hmm. I have my greenie to brush my teeth and my treats that I always get at bedtime. I went potty and I'm ready to cuddle up under the blankies with mama. <clears throat> And Papa. And the pee bottle. Oh, God. Hey, it's so much better than the 2 a.m. wake up and you gotta go. And then you like hold it, hold it, hold it till 4. And then you've held it so long that it takes forever to uh, unzip the uh, vent screen and the solid screen and get down. You know, this pee bottle is pretty revolutionary <clears throat> all I can say is the yeah. rule stands if you spill that thing on my stuff <laughs> I'm taking your stuff and you're not sleeping in here anymore <laughs> you might not want to sleep in here that's true <laughs> and I'll get first dibs on where to sleep but you will give me your dry stuff if you spill stuff on my clean bedding. Deal. No bodily <laughs> fluids on the bedding? Or some kind of bodily fluids are okay, no others are not. On, no pee on <laughs> and, the bed. And no Let's golden showers. <laughs> That's not one of my things. Well, in my defense, the pee bottle works very very well you just yeah, kind of one time one i night. used it twice one night for... yes i'm two for two you're awfully cocky about this <laughs> i like the joke <laughs> <laughs> hey you want me to wake you up in the middle of the... i guess i probably wake you up with, with my movements uh-huh and then you can see how it goes. No, I know how it went. I was awake last night for it. It doesn't mean that it's going to go well every single time. And the rule stands, if you mess up my bed, you're going to be chivalrous and give me yours. What if it's my bedding? But I don't care. You can take it outside so it doesn't smell in here. It's all in the correct bottle choice. And I looked long and hard <laughs> for this bottle like three weeks i think you've been looking are we gonna share yeah, what your bottle I'm... looks like here here i'll fold the camera you show and tell your bottle <clears throat> see healthy Body gatorade armor. very ideal if you're looking you know for a pee bottle and you don't want to like do the whole hospital style this Gatorades are known to are work not, well too. The, the hospital ones are not properly sealed. <laughs> yeah, those are messy. So, yeah, and that's that. Just and put it right next record, to the uh, drinking water. Soapy water, not pee pee water. Yeah, of it, right. <laughs> that is soapy water. Bedtime. Please. Reading time, actually. <clears throat> you can go to sleep. Let me turn this out so we can get the cliche transition okay. on camera. Oh, wait. Oh, good night. Good night. We could say good night like we did at my house. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, John Boy. I can't remember the other names. Did you watch the Waltons when you were little? No, I did not. Oh no, you missed out. That was what we always said in the RV when we visited my grandparents. Because my grandma's name was Mary and my grandpa's name was John. <laughs> so it worked well. Okay, good night.
I don't know if you're comfortable enough. You're laying on mama's pillow with a blankie in the comfortable chair. You good? You having a good morning camping? Pull your hat down again. You're starting to get the condom look. The receptacle tip? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good morning. Time for a tour of our campsite before we head home, wrap it up. All right, I have to say this, we are very lucky that we kept pushing, like, no, that didn't work. We did the whole Goldilocks thing. We did. And no, that's not gonna work. Oh no, that's closed. Let's turn down here and we found it. This is a damn near perfect campsite. You're on a point, so you got water over there. You got water over there. And then behind me, you got water over there. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so here's our camp. Let's start over here. As you saw yesterday, we took out the Cocopelli pack raft and it's a lot of fun. It kind of, the heat of the day got it a little higher pressure and then it got cool last night. So it needs to be reinflated. I got my fishing gear scattered over there. We have a cute puppy over here, all curled up. She enjoys watching the chipmunks. And let's make note of the Murdoch's chairs. Uh, these chairs have been great so far. And we went shopping at Murdoch's specifically because the chairs we have in Denny for the past six years have been Murdoch's chairs. So they have worked fabulously. You're like, yeah, let's go to Murdoch's. And lo and behold, we found one more for kind of lounging and one more for like sitting up. And it is a good balance. The little stool also works like a nice ottoman. Here is our current version of kitchen. Um, I want to, we, <laughs> We want to keep this thing clean, so I don't want to like use it as a barbecue. So we got, like you saw last night with a steak, this general idea, and it worked. It worked great. I just got to wipe up a few drips, but we don't want it to smell because we store all of our camping gear inside Denise at all times. So it's not like it goes into the garage and the garage is so big. It doesn't matter if it smells like steak drippings. This little setup. These, you might have seen them at Walmart. They stack and they lock together, but I like them because we got all of our kitchen utensils. We got plastic bags, baby wipes, and just camping stuff. Like really stuff that's gonna get reorganized when we pack up. All right, tour continues in the back of Denise. I think you've all met Elsa, so she requires no introduction. We have our power station. We also have a little battery power pack back here somewhere for Elsa, and it can also be used to charge other stuff. Someday we'd really like to have a storage system back here. Right now it consists of bankers boxes. <laughs> We've got bathroom stuff and miscellaneous it's things. A mess. It's a real it's mess real right life. now. I think everybody's vehicle has to be a mess when they go camping. When we go somewhere where there's other people around, we set this up to put our toilet in and change clothes, but we're all by ourselves up here, so we haven't really needed that. We've just been out in the open. Um, moving on around here, we've got panels to charge all of our electronics. In here, just... We're storing our clothes over there, Ben's camera and, uh, gear, our emergency. <laughs> and I'll put a little plug in for our awesome emergency bag from My Medic. If you don't have one, this PA tells you you need one. They're the best. And then more mess up here, but we're keeping stuff for the toilet. And Ben the has clean stuff for the toilet. Yeah, the clean stuff. And there's the more camera gear. And Toilet, toilet paper. paper. Segwaying into the our box toilet. Toilets. So this works kind of like a separate, except for it doesn't have the air sucking capabilities. Um, it works great. 
It's actually incredibly comfortable to sit on and use. Um, we used it at Expo PNW, and then we've been using it on our camping trips, and I am pleasantly surprised. I was very hesitant about this box, but it cleans up really nicely. It doesn't smell once it's clean, and um, Ben in particular finds it very Relieved. productive. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's got a pee bottle in the front and then in the back, like a place to put a trash bag. And you saw we have the shavings to put in there after you, you go. Mean you don't want to lift the lid on that and show them inside? Not after it's been used all weekend, nope. no. And then over here, last spot, we have a, the extension of our kitchen to wash dishes and wash hands. Um, this is something we learned from our German friends we met in Mexico. This is soapy water. So you spray it on the dishes or your hands. And then this is clean water and you can rinse with these or you have this to rinse with now, but um, it works so well. Okay, last three things are kind of stuff you wouldn't really notice unless we pointed it out. So first off, just like we have for Denny in Europe, we went and picked up a set of go treads for Denise. We love these things. We've used them for years in Denny and then uh, one last thing your trash can no but the mat too oh. we have this awesome mat we have one for denny one for here highly recommend it way better than those other mats and you're this. not mic'd up anymore so i have to like ch chase you sorry and the last thing ben did not want to buy but now he's glad we got it okay i did not want to buy it because i've never been a fan of life is better at the campsite oh, rv camping yet and I don't know, but, but the function, the functionality was what I cared about. I didn't care what was on the thing, although I think it's kind of cute, <laughs> but you don't have to tie your trash bag to here and then leave it out. Mm -hmm. Instead it's in here and it has a zipper, which is awesome because we've been having bee troubles here, but if we zip that up, they go away. They can't, they don't bother the trash. Anymore. It works very well, despite the so, gaudy. <clears throat> That was a good purchase, despite being Wait, ugly. could you say that one more time? It was a good purchase, despite being an ugly product. <laughs> it was a good purchase. That was the part you needed to hear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Going to chill out before we pack up? Yeah, I think so. I can't think of anything else to show them. Another cup of coffee? I haven't had any coffee yet, because the first cup was cold by the time I was ready to drink it. So, yes, please. You know what I see? What? I see an expedition vehicle chassis. <laughs> Four wheel drive. Yup.
Ooh, we are home. And it is 99 degrees inside the camper. And outside. <laughs> and outside as well. Kind of uh, equal there. <laughs> Thanks for riding along with us on a travel vlog. We haven't done this in a while. Yeah. And one of our first adventures with the rooftop yeah, tent where we be... really went out and had a good time. Yeah, definitely more coming. Now the beautiful thing here is that most of the stuff stays in. We just empty out the pantry box and the fridge. And the personal care. So. And the personal care. And the pooper. We don't need and the to. Clothes. Yeah. And the clothes. So, but most of the camping stuff stays. Yep. Well, stay tuned for a tour video of the new camper. Oh, That's definitely that. uh, on the books. And then I'd also like to do a video about how we set the Forerunner up for towing because it's a it's a niche because yeah. it's not known to be a tow vehicle. So it is now. <laughs> it is now. Thanks for riding with us. We're going to let that air conditioning cool down and enjoy the rest of our day. Bye. Bye. Put your hand up there. <laughs> Just your hand? Well, that's too much. That's way too much. No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now you look like live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. What is it going to be? <laughs> Which one? I don't, that, that's that's no, no, not okay. That one. This is like, you know, Star Spock. Trek. <laughs> I like is, this one. This. Which one's it going to be? That. This I like one? that, yeah. All right. Well, that, that's like, because the Brits, like, wait, how does it It's flip? this for flipping okay, off. That's flipping Brit British people off. Yep. I don't know. Like, this is a special moment. I don't want to be flipping off. So, so then, I... do it this way. <laughs> now you look like Nixon. <laughs> uh, wow! Decisions, decisions. I liked this one, and you just don't put it up high because that's too much. This one? Yeah, uh, I like that. Because it's the same as the wave, like then you can just go like this when you're driving. All right, so let's do this and pan out. Okay. The camera ready. You want to send it? Crossing. Oh yeah. Let me wait. Hold wait, on. we don't have hold a on. snorkel. Hold on, I gotta put it in first gear. All right, okay. send it, baby. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. I got it on video. I'm getting it. Oh uh, damn! Good job. <laughs> 